Hey guys, it's Dark, and today I'm bringing you maybe my first time playing. I think it's the first time playing a dating game on this channel. I, I don't know because my memory is really bad. But if you like dating uh, and speed dating, particularly, and uh, ghosts, uh, yeah, you're gonna love this. I mean, um, I don't know what to expect, but. I just want to give it a try, you know, let's let's give it a shot. Let's see what this game is all about. I've heard about it. I'm not going in blind, but I don't know what to expect. Okay, I don't know what that is. A Wendigo? When? I don't know, that thing from that scary game. Oh, hello there. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. I run this little operation. Uh... Nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. We get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost. Uh, I like being alone. I've never met a ghost who didn't need someone. Someone to talk to. To help make sense of all this. Maybe you're right. That's the spirit. We've got three rooms set up. Each with their own super fun themes. You pick one. And sit at a table. And then what? Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings. Oh, so it's like the button, right? So if I don't like them, I, I buzz them. No? Okay. And you switch seats. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, so, alright, yeah, right, because it's speed dating, just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds. Just like in, um, uh, what's that, uh, what's it called? The one with, um, Ebenezer Scrooge, right? A Christmas Carol? And at the end, you get to choose your favorite. If they liked you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? Um... We'll see. It'll be an experience at least. First things first though. What was that? <laughs> oh, choose your room. Room of liars. Is am I saying that right? Right, li 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 res. liars. Room of palms and room of black. Let's go with black for gothic. The room of black isn't really a room at all. Oh. It's more of a garden courtyard. Okay. The sun beats down as you squint to see what's growing. Rows upon rows of yellow and brown plants. Drying and rotting in the sun. What fruit these plants produce shriveled on the vine. But there's peace to this place. The crickets are chirping. And well beyond the garden, a train passes. You sit at a table opposite an empty chair. Oh boy, here they come. Ooh, it got bright. The bell rings and a ghost appears. Ugh, oh, no. F-boy. <laughs> F-boy squids. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a ghost. Wait, why, why, is he, why is he trying so hard? Ooh. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, totally. Isn't it great being dead? Uh... I don't want to play into this. I'd rather be alive. You'd rather be alive? Actually? That's so sad. Being dead is the best way to live. I'm Drea. I'm like dead, obviously. I'm also like dead. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Go figure. Let's be dead together. Uh, how did you die? Yeah, no. You don't want to know that. Yeah, I do. Besides, you're asking ghosts how they died? That's boring. Ask something else. Something not boring. Isn't that like how you got here? Kind of like important? Okay, what do you do for fun? I really want to know though. Ugh, I don't want to press. I really don't like... 
when people are like very like you know fixed on their position i really don't want to press them even if i do want to know oh it's killing me though even though i'm already dead uh, what do you do for fun probably haunt people from the sounds of it because he was going ooh to another ghost F it. I haunt play. I knew it. Bro. I'm just good. I'm just good. Like, actually scare people. Yeah, I bet you would. I, this is, you know what this is? This is the YouTube prankster. I bet they died doing a stupid YouTube prank. Like, like the ones that we've heard about recently where they're actually not pranks. They're actually, like, being D-bags to, like, innocent people. Like harassing them. Nothing too mean. Just like flicker lights off and on. Okay, wow. Damn. Move stuff around so it floats. Push people down. Okay, like, what the f. You know, ghost stuff. Wait, you push people down the stairs? LOL. Yeah, look. They even talk like an influencer. Unknown, actually. Oh my God. I was just pulling your leg. Or whatever it is you've got. Drea looks around. Man, look at this place. Only ghosts would think a rotting garden is a good place to pick up. And yet you're here. Well, yeah, I'm here. Ever tried dating ghosts in the wild? They all just contort and wail. And not in the good way. My ex was a nightmare? What the f- Yo, what's my background? <laughs> What are you? I thought we were deciding who I was. What are you into? Oh my god. How did I not see that coming? This is legit, F-boy. Dress snorts a little. No, but seriously. I've gone out with all kinds. Pretty girls in dresses who carry their own heads. A shadow who refused to let me look directly at him. Being dead is great. It's the other dead people that killed me blunt where i could use one oh my god please just kidding pod does nothing now <laughs> i like that i changed the name holy holy does it do who says that holy does it do nothing getting messed up is the only thing i miss about living when i was alive i loved jokes about dying life sucked jerks everywhere never enough money the jerks got the money, I'd be all, the best way to die is now, before death does me in. It should at least buy me dinner. Jokes, you know? Ugh. But now that I'm dead, it just feels right. Like maybe it was meant to be, which I guess makes sense. When is that bell going off, please? Since we all die in junk. Oh, thank God. Whoa. The bell rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look at the time. Antler Ghost rang that bell thing. That means we changed places. See you in a bit. Hopefully not. Oh, pink. Another ghost appears. Uh, what the heck is this? A specter? Oh, hello there. I'm Hattie? Is that Hattie or Hottie? It has to be Hattie, right? You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little shy. It's alright. It's just so nice to get out of the home. To see a new face. Uh, the home? I haunt the old folks home. Oh my god, she's a granny. Where I died. Queen Mary's. It's not a nice place to live. Let alone die. They treat you poorly? I wouldn't say poorly. The nurses do their best. But they are short-staffed. The residents are frequently neglected. Oh my god. I hate. I don't even want to talk about this subject matter, but like the whole treatment of elders in society is heartbreaking. To make Queen Mary's a little better, uh, to make Queen Mary's a little better, that is my mission in death. Oh, that's noble. How do you help? Any way I can. I keep watch on vitals, ring a nurse when needed. Tuck residents in and bro, this is like breaking my heart. In their final moments, 
I whisper in their ears, there is more I say, just you wait. Wow, who'd say why bother? What kind of heartless monster? That's so nice. I never thought death would be like this. As ghosts, we have power over the living, whether they know it or not. We ought to use that power for good. I, wait, what? I agree, I agree. Now that you're dead, what do you do with your time? Um, I'm still figuring that out. It's strange being dead. There is a Bible verse I think about sometimes. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell. Like sacrifice? Where the worms that eat them do not die. Ah. And the fire is not quenched. I still have both my eyes. But what I see is not like hell. That's over my head. Hell is other people? I've heard that. I don't believe it. I can't imagine anything worse than being alone. Were you alone when you were alive? No, I had a partner. Milton. He's still alive, actually. A resident at the home. I don't know how I feel about that. The bell rings. Oh, I guess that's our time. I suppose I will see you again. When I come back around. Thank you for the talk. Ooh, that left me conflicted. <laughs> Another ghost appears. Jesus! <laughs> Oh, okay, not judging by looks. The ghost, the ghost says nothing, only stares. Okay, that's good. Um, hi? What is it you require? Okay, well... I'm not sure. You have an eternity to decide. That is what it means to die. We are stripped of time. We are given eternity. Who are you? No, what are you? A lost soul not unlike yourself. You can call me Gary. That is who I was. Who I used to be. Tell me about Gary. No, no, what happened to you? Jeez. <laughs> the ghost eyes grow wide. You breathe in deeply, remembering something horrible. Uh, what's wrong? The knife. I still feel the blade. The life draining out. Emptied. An empty space. Okay, we're back. Where once there was something, now cobwebs. A draft. Uh, should I say I'm so sorry? Uh, I'm sorry, but I also want to know who killed him. Do not be sorry. Gary is gone. What if he, oh, what if he, like, did himself in? The bell rings. Your time with Gary is over. He lifts up his fragile frame and shambles over to the next table. No, I wanted to know more about Gary. What is he looking for? Oh god, is it F-Boy? Second round begins. No! Everybody's so flipping gloomy here. Ugh. I keep thinking, who died? Ugh. Everyone died. That's the joke, yeah, we know. You know, that's the joke, right? Man, we should just go haunting. Freak out some flesh bags. Yeah. Give him something to be afraid of. Maybe. Like, you're gonna do better than me here? Wow, I really don't like this dude. Or anywhere. Most ghosts are sad as heck. Or boring. Lots of boring ones, too. Do you know a lot of ghosts? Mostly ones I meet at punk shows. So this guy goes to punk shows as a ghost? It's great because you never need a ticket. Why are you here then? I want to meet ghosts who aren't like me. I'm sick of doing the same things. But then I actually remember, I like doing those things. Dude, I really just want to share them with someone new. I know I probably sound pathetic. Oh, look at that. That's the bell. Sorry. Already? This was okay. Come find me after. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do something. Sure, buddy. Uh, what exactly do you have in mind? You'll see. Okay. No. I really don't like that, dude. Hello again. 
How is the speed dating going? Is everything you hoped it would be? Uh... You know what? Yeah, she is kind of my favorite because she's kind to people, but I don't know, the whole thing about her husband still being alive kind of weird. They're my favorite so far. There's no need for flattery. Oh, I got a little heart symbol! We're already getting along fine. There's something different about you. A light. I can literally see it glowing in there. In your guts. Just don't let it go to your head. Dying has shown me there's still a lot to learn. Always something new worth knowing. Hattie looks at the garden rotting around you. Do you like gardening? Hmm. I like the idea of gardening, but I feel like it's a lot of work, you know? But I'm gonna say I love gardening. I never much cared for flowers. They're beautiful, but they sure don't last. Vegetables are where it's at. I love ones that grow like the Dickens. Squash snaps, peas. Spaghetti squash vines are thick and sharp. They will choke other plants if you're not careful. How about spinach? I like tomatoes. Tomatoes are finicky plants. They need water to survive, of course. But too much and they'll start to get sick. Now that we're ghosts, I know we don't need to eat. I still like to grow food. Help something live, you know? Wait, how do they grow food? Wait, I have so many questions. <laughs> Oop, there's the bell. I'm due at the nursing home tomorrow. I'd be honored if you'd join me. It's not as exciting a date as other ghosts might offer, but it has its rewards. Someone dear to me is taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid he only has a few days left. I want to make sure he knows they won't be his last. That sounds wonderful. I'm pleased that you agree. I'll meet you at Queen Mary's at 7 a.m. Sorry if that's a little early. I'm my best self before noon. Wait, go sleep? Hattie floats over to the next table. She looks back and smiles. <laughs> uh, why are you so sorry? What do you mean? Oh, you died? Oh, yeah, you died horribly. It was not your fault. So whose fault was it? I want to remember. I ache simply trying. I only recall slivers of my last moments alive. Emotions, work, a shadow along the wall. I know these memories are important. I do not know how they fit together. Tell me about the shadow. The shadow was long, dark, but familiar. It crept along the wall. It crept through the office as we worked at night. It came for me. It has a name. Oh, why can't I remember its name? Gary's eyes looked so threatening when you first met him. Now they look sort of sad. Maybe we should go to your old office. I haven't been back. As much as there's something drawing me to that place, there's more pushing me away. You can do it. Your optimism. It is rare among our kind. I still feel the blade. The life draining out. Join me after the final bell. Together we will discover why. Can I do both? I don't know. This, I, I think I only have to pick one. Oh, they left a map with strange transit routes. A certain stop is circled. Can I do both? As long as I don't have to see the F-boy. I feel so bad if I leave Gary behind, but also I don't want to leave Hattie. I never did say I was going, though. I just said that he could do it. Uh, don't. I'm going to choose Hattie. <laughs> I'm sorry. What if we find out that something dark happened? I don't want to... <laughs> You arrive at Queen Mary's to meet Hattie for your date. It's 7.04 a.m. You're a little late. Looking around, this could be any nursing home. Yellowed walls, stained drop ceilings. Supply carts line the corridors along the odd empty IV stand. The sun's not quite up, but the residents sure are. Walking the halls to get a bit of exercise. Chatting over weak decaf in the dining room next to reception. Oh, there she is. 
you came. Welcome to Queen Mary's, my home. What do you think? It's nice. Uh, isn't it though? I just love it here. These are my people. Behind Hattie, an old woman hangs up the lobby phone. The woman begins to cry. Uh, her son, probably making more excuses not to visit. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> you see what I mean? Um, can we do anything? Not unless you possess her son. Let's do it. And march his sorry butt down here. Hattie laughs. Please don't actually do that. It won't help. Besides, there's someone I want you to meet. It's her husband. Hattie floats off down the left corridor. All these corridors look the same, but she knows exactly where she's going. Past a number of open doors glancing inside. Some residents watch TV from their beds. Others just stare out the windows or at the walls. Most rooms are bare if you are decorated. There are tall plants, fine wood furniture. In one room, you spot a record collection. Essential possessions transplanted to make this place feel more like home. At the far end of a long hall, Hattie stops and turns to you. So I know this is probably obvious, but we're here to see Milton. Yeah, I know. He was my partner for 47 years. If you think I'm a firecracker, Milton's all sparks. You'll like him, I think. He's been doing worse lately. Um, is he sick? He's just old. The little things stack up when you're old. Eventually, one kills you. I've been spending a lot of time here. It has him concerned. Milton says I'm hanging on to the past. He wants me to make friends who are more like me. Ghosts, he means. I want to show him that I met a good one. I want him to meet you. It will make him so happy. Oh, that's so awkward. Hattie turns to go into Milton's room. Good morning, Millie. Inside is an empty bed, neatly made. What? Milton is gone. Oh, oh no. Hattie frantically searches the room. She spots the chart at the foot of the bed. This says, this says he had an aneurysm. He was taken to the hospital. She looks at you with fear in her eyes. I, I have to go. I can come with you. I'd like that. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm scared to do this alone. You arrive at the hospital with Hattie. She floats behind the reception counter to locate Milton's room. Second floor intensive care. Milton room, Milton's room is dim. A reedy old man with a thick mustache lies in the bed motionless. It's quiet except, it's quiet except for the steady whoosh and click of a machine by his side. A ventilator connected to a tube run down his throat. Did I say running down his throat? The machine is breathing for him. Oof. Oh no, Milton. She looks around as if he might have already left his body. They were supposed to let him go. Heidi looks at Milton's chart. It says he was found unresponsive. No signs of brain activity. But I still feel his presence, don't you? I feel it. But where is he? Is he lost somewhere? Is he trapped in there? Oh, Milton. Wait, am I Milton? His sister has power of attorney. He didn't want this. Oh. He signed a form that said do not resuscitate. He did, didn't want this. Hattie looks up. I'm sorry I dragged you here. I know this must be quite awkward. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone with Milton now. <clears throat> I understand. Thank you for understanding. I, as you step into the hall to leave, you can hear Hattie saying something at Milton's bedside. There's so much more, my love. Just you wait. I think I would remember though if I was if I was Milton. Like, it's not like I forgot what happened. I think. Wait, it just ended. <laughs> oh, did I pick wrong? Wait, no. Wow, there's so many ghosts that you can go and find. Wait, what's the beach? Wow. Okay, well, I, I thought that we were going to like... I don't know, 
like you know what I mean like I guess like each one doesn't necessarily like you go on dates but it doesn't necessarily mean that they they end in like you know what I mean the future I thought it was gonna be like see it through like an entire story but I guess it's just you go on a date and that's it maybe maybe if I had picked the other option the date would have kept going like I would have helped find Milton or say like oh he's not here I don't know I don't know if there's more options I have to look into it but I don't want to drag this on too long and I don't want to go deeper into the game I mean it got pretty sad back there for a second I was like choking up I was like oh this this bad <laughs> but yeah if you guys enjoyed this I'll leave a link in the description as always be sure to leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you haven't as always I should catch you in the next episode take care for now see ya